It is time to take flight in Kerbal Space Program and start diving into planes. And we're going to be checking out everything, including building of a very simple test plane that's going to be gathering science. We're going to be launching that plane into the most beautiful sunrise that you can think of, featuring some amazing visuals. Look at that. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it beautiful? And after that, we'll be doing some shenanigans, including learning how to land without the wheels. So stick around, it's gonna be fun. And as mentioned, we are reconditioning the launch pad. We are back in our playthrough with the Kerbal construction time. And as you can tell, we have a lot of technology to unlock. So rather than be gated by some time, I have decided to go and proceed with designing a small plane that will be gathering data from various biomes, at least the ones that we can reach on wheels. However, this is a very basic plane, so we're going to be constructing that one using the Mark I components, some reaction wheels, we're going to be also using some winglets, you know, the basic plane design. I was experimenting with different wing components, including these ones which you can assemble, no problem, as well as some major parts that I wanted to include. But then I decided to go with the swept wings because those actually look the coolest. And then we're going to be putting some elevons as well as making sure that... Ev no, those are too much. Yeah, just that. One swept tail. This looks awesome. And then we're going to be putting some winglets like canards, I'm thinking. Also, we have to think about that we need some engines. And I'm going to go with this like Mark Zero or tiny engines, the 0 0.625 meter mark. And I'm going to be sticking them on the fuselage. Note that these engines are really not that powerful, meaning that we should probably not pack too much fuel into the aircraft. So that means I'm going to drain fuel from the center stack and just make sure that these tiny fuselages contain the, all the fuel that's required for the flight. Then we put the aforementioned canards just to make sure that they, it looks cool and it works even better. Then we're going to be placing the small landing gear and actually I don't really like those landing gear because they're really flimsy. To be perfectly honest, they are... I'm a little bit worried if it's gonna be working. However, we're gonna be checking them out. It should in theory work. Those are the landing gear, but it's not the most stable landing gear everybody has ever constructed. Okay, so highlighting the center of mass and center of lift, you want to them to be quite close. Uh, but I, you still want the center of mass to be a little bit ahead of center of lift to provide the aircraft with stability. If they're too far apart, that means the plane will have really hard time doing any controls. However, I'm thinking with this design, it will be working out beautifully. Note, I have decided to put some parachutes just in case you never know what might happen. And... Um, this has been proven as a very effective abort system. A while back in KSP, much older version, I think, I was actually playing with the ejector seats. I don't know if this mod is anywhere available. Do let me know in the comments below if the ejector seats still work, because I think those would be really cool. Just imagine flying, something goes wrong, and you go like, eject, eject, and you just shoot out kerbals outside and have them going with a parachute. Yeah, that mod was amazing, but I think it stopped working in, what was it, 1.8, and this is 1. Point, or 1. 1.6, this was 1.12, so technically I don't want to experiment, but if you know if the mod is working, do let me know and give me the link in the comments so I can Google it up. Anyway, we have decided to cram a lot of science on this plane because it will be providing us valuable data in terms of the science. We do want to grab as much science as possible. Ideally, I would like to go to the island airfield because that's my go-to place to gather science. And um, before it gets constructed, we have some tech unlocks that the boys in the lab have been diligently researching the advanced construction, the landing and all that jazz. Uh, so hopefully I think electrics is going to get research, which will allow us to construct our next probe. 
All right, skipping a little bit through the magic of video editing of getting the plane constructed and we are getting very close to what it appears one of the most beautiful sunrises I have seen in the Kerbal Space Program, meaning the moment sun peeks its head through the... Yeah, there we go, beautiful. I think I'm gonna launch right about now. I feel very strongly of launching into the sunrise. It's gonna be amazing. So. We're going to be taking the pilot de jour who will be Jebediah Kerman, so let's just launch it and continue. Alright, so we have a bunch of experiments that are currently on the runway and it's a valid place to get science, so I have decided to just, you know, do a lot of experiments and just make sure that I have collected all of them. Great. I also do have a science collector at the plane's rear, or the plane's ass if you want to call it like that. And that one is collecting all of the signs just in case something goes horribly wrong with the plane. Hopefully not, because Jebediah is at the helm, so he's our pilot de jour. Right, are we ready? All right. Blackjack requesting takeoff from the Kerbal Space Center tower. You're ready for takeoff? Good luck. All right kicking the engines and we are going up. Look at that marvelous sunset. This is just stunning visuals. Black Crack, man, if you're seeing this video, you rock. Literally. I'm really enjoying the volumetric clouds and to all of the even the Linux Guru Gamer who provided the parallax mod, this is lost. The really beautiful. I mean, just take a look. This is some next level stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this beautiful ascent. Right, so, other than me nerding out on the ascent, let us go towards the island runway. It's always my first go-to place to test things, and we can actually do crew report. There are stuff and experiments that we can do. Material experiments, crew report, and all that jazz by flying low over the Kerbin's water. So. Just making sure that I do want to get over these beautiful clouds and as you can tell we are accelerating, we are almost getting the Mac Diamonds. Soon enough we might just punch through the sound barrier or not. Okay, crew report flying over Kerbin's water. Yes, that we are. Just look at those clouds. Big, fluffy, amazing. Right, okay. Another screenshot moment? Yeah, definitely. I mean, at this point, really, KSP looks almost as good, if not even better, than KSP2. I mean, KSP2 had great visuals, I mean, God knows it has its performance problems, but still. This game still kicks, scratches that inch of the exploration feeling that we really... I'm really lacking, and I really cannot wait until we get our hands on the Kitten Space Agency, because that one just might be the ticket. However, this is still an amazing game and it's definitely worth playing. So, right now, other than me nerding out, we really need to descend down. So, I'm gonna be pulling the split S. Yeah. That's a maneuver. I can talk. And we're gonna be going towards the island runway. So, going through the clouds and hopefully, the only thing that I realize I forgot to install on this damn thing are brakes. Not that it plays any role. I mean, who needs brakes on a plane? Anybody? Any ideas come to mind? No, I didn't think so. Sorry, what you're saying, Jeb? So, here was me experimenting to see could we do something with the flaps? And I know that in theory it's possible that flaps do a little bit of, you know, spoiler, flaps deflecting. They should decelerate the craft down to a degree However, at this descent angle, I'm not sure if that's gonna be the case. And this landing gear actually feels a little bit flimsy, so I am a little bit worried how it's gonna look. However, I've decided to do a flyby over the island tower, and then we're gonna do an approach from the other side, because I think maybe it actually feels better. We won't have sun in our face, Ker Jebediah Kerbin will be actually better suited to land and it will be also positioned well for a takeoff back to the home runway. So, without further ado, we have decided to continue 
and do a little 180 and here I'm not gonna be pulling any fancy maneuver like the split S or the Immelman otherwise if we try to do anything like that our beautiful plane could turn out into a submersible so we're gonna be just doing a 180 regular degree turn by, while monitoring our airspeed so it doesn't dip too low while increasing a little bit of the throttle so to prevent a stall right okay i think we are well suited now it's just a matter of fiddling out an alignment towards the runway and hopefully kicking uh, the airspeed a little bit up to get our vertical speed positive because right now we are descending further down which is kind of a little bit bad when you're this slow you don't want to be going having a vertical speed that's negative because that means you're gonna be hitting that mountain head on right okay so let's see if we can jack it up a little but that also increases our surface velocity which makes me very worried so the moment we get over the runway i'm going to be cutting up the engines there we go kill the engines and now can we actually decelerate enough to land on the runway let's try oh and what oh oh what happened i think i just lost my landing gear oh boy okay well we don't have the landing gear anymore so we're gonna be doing i should have probably led into that this is a tutorial of how to land with the without the landing gear so if you're watching this maybe i already did that in the intro who knows let's see we are gonna go back to the runway and we're gonna be trying to land over there sadly we weren't able to uh, get any science from the island runway. I know, I know, I could have pulled the chutes and just recovered the aircraft, but what would be the fun in that? I really want to get back to on my own power. So, thinking about it, I want to really the Jebediah to be a proper test pilot that's doing all kinds of shenanigans. So, let's go back to the runway where we will hopefully be landing. At this point I would like to invite you, if you're liking this video or in general the KSP series, do fling a like at this episode and if you're not already subscribed, you might be enjoying this content, you might want to consider hitting that subscribe button just below to get notified when I post more KSP videos. With that thing being said, now let's go and try and land this sucker. So I'm thinking, should we do a belly landing or... yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not too sold on this. It is a beautiful flight though, you gotta give him that. So now let us go... We need to align and I really like the Kerbal Space Program Enhanced Mode, uh, KSC Enhanced Mode. This is uh, much more performant than the Kerbal Constructs, which adds a lot of components to the Kerbal Space Center. This one just adds a second runway, so it looks a little bit more like the KSC from the Kerbal Space Program 2, while still looking new and fresh and all that jazz. So from my perspective, I think it's a win-win. So right now we're just gonna be flying above the runway and I gotta figure out how to properly land this damn thing. All right. Speaking of that, now let us just gently continue and see if we manage to get a decent enough landing. Well, you know what they say, any landing that you can walk away from is a good landing. So what do you think, Jeb? Can you land this sucker? Well, of course, I guess. Well, we might as well collect a little bit more science because I just got alerted by my ex-science mod that there was a missing piece of science. And we are just getting above the runway. Just look how beautiful that model is. All right. And coming in hot. Popping the chutes. There we go. Easy does it. I didn't plan for landing like this, but then I figured, you know, might as well. <laughs> when we have this abort system, I think it's better. This Instead of just us ejecting and uh, losing all the wonderful science, 
popping up the shoots. This craft is after all quite small and I believe this three giant shoots, if it's empty of fuel, which it almost is, should be enough to land it just gently. We might actually sacrifice the camera that's on its nose. However, once it lands, we just might get a little bit of science, which would help us unlock some more further tech nodes and get further into our space and plane programs. Because in this series, I want to do planes, I want to do space planes, I want to do massive space stations, SSTOs, interplanetary craft, you name it. We are playing with, I think, 195 mods in total. And I remember that I've promised to, um, promised to share the mod list. If I have compiled it, you will be seeing it in the description below. And look at this nice soft landing once again hitting again the experiments and let's recover the craft that gave us 204 science so that means two very interesting tech unlocks and jebediah earned some stripes from the final frontier mission survey beautiful summary speaking of that we have something to unlock we have aerodynamics so let's look at which nodes we will be unlocking I'm actually thinking I would really like to unlock maybe propulsion systems because that will give us small thrusters for the nodes, for the probes, or fuel systems because that one will give us bigger for the rockets and maybe advanced flight control. To be honest, that might actually sound quite interesting though. Maybe I should go with the simple command modules that would unlock or space exploration. Oh, that gives us much more experiments. Well, experiments yield science, so it's sort of like a self-fulfilling prophecy. If we unlock those, we might do a lot more experiments, which will yield more science, which means we will be able to progress faster. All right, unlocking those. It's gonna take a while and this unlocks, and while I'm doing that, I might as well unlock the Soyuz launch base. All right. All in all, I'm pretty happy with the way these things have gone down. It could have been better, and let's just see, we have unlocked a couple of upgrade points. So with that thing, we might just hit a little bit R&D. We might increase one research point and one development point. And then we are left with, let's do the space plane hangar. All right, guys, so once again, like if you like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.